Today, the topic of our conversation and the story is the human story. Before I introduce uh, our today's guest, and she is a New Zealand-born Latvian who knew she had to make a big life change. Well, really. I used to think that resilience was something to aspire to, an admirable character trait, proof of one's strength and ability to weather all storms, bending but never breaking. It's what I wanted to be until resilient became my label. Because of the stress that often manifested physically of being in a situation I couldn't get out of, I made many mistakes at work, at home, and in the way I communicated with others. My perspective was so out of whack that I couldn't think through to the consequences of my actions or have a thought process clear enough to create a plan and see it through to a conclusion. No, I wanted to scream, I'm not resilient. I cry every day, harder when I wake up in the morning and remember that this is real, louder when I'm in the shower and nobody can hear me. I am so alone in this and the one person I should be able to count on to be there for me is down their own deep, dark hole. Well, finally, in 2019, the insurance battle ended and the broken house was sold. I didn't have it in me to stick around for a new house to be built or for another earthquake to break it. So along with my husband and daughter, I grabbed my Latvian passport, packed a 20 foot container and left the country. Always though, in the back of my mind was the story of my father and his family forced to leave in the 1940s, never to return to their homeland. My family would be starting again, together, far from the shaky aisles. And our new lives did go well for a while until I asked my husband to leave. One thing I continue to marvel at is how, without knowing it, without realizing it was happening, I made space for good things to come into my life. Not replacements, but different things. Earlier this year, I sustained a serious injury that meant I was unable to walk for three months. I'm still in recovery, but doing well. I'm writing this from the happiest of my happy places. I'm at my desk in my sunroom, watching the last of the golden autumn leaves flutter from the branches of a big old tree. In a couple of months, I'll be watching snowfall. I'm making friends, my business is growing, and I feel very peaceful. I now know that it's okay to break, to be human, to need help and to not keep all my pain inside. Thank you. I have heard this story. I heard it yesterday, but uh, I still have chills as I listen to it. When you think that you've had it all, you have even more that accident. Yes, I've been with you, Anita, but thank you for the beautiful testimonial that you gave to me. Anita, you shared uh, with me yesterday, as I was listening to your story, you shared with me that you wouldn't be able to speak it by heart. You were actually reading the story. Do you feel comfortable elaborating on it? Why? Yes, I do. Um, I'm on a roll, so why not? Um, I, I guess it, it probably goes without saying that there is some PTSD going on. Um, 
And one of the ways that has manifested is um, my short-term memory loss. My short-term memory is terrible. I often forget if I've eaten breakfast. You know, and- yeah, <laughs> you, you really, you're letting it out and that's wonderful. I just wanted to mention, to, to speak to something that you just uh, mentioned within your answer about the short-term memory. You said, and why not? You know what? You inspire me because I'll- although... I teach people how to stay in the memory of the people with their stories or maybe how to make an impact, lasting impact, just from the first seconds. I too have suffered from memory loss. In fact, uh, there are holes, big holes in my memory. What I remember though, is that one night when the phone rang and we, at that time there were no cell phones and the phone rang in the living room. I had put my baby in the cradle already, my first baby. And I went to the phone and answered it. And the voice on the other end asked, where is he? And I said, I don't know. He hasn't been at home for several days. And the voice said, you'll remember after you've, we've taken you to the forest and tied around the tree. And think about your baby. After a while, when it was pointed out, I realized that I didn't remember people, the closest people that had been with me at that time, I didn't know who they were. They, at that time, thought that I was arrogant because I had already started a new business and was very successful at that business. They thought that I was passing by because I'm arrogant, that I'm looking from above at them. I simply didn't remember them. But thank you for prompting this. I didn't know that I would have shared this all. You did it to me. And for that, I'm deeply thankful to you.